Like any telephony system, Asterisk provides a way to accept input from phone users. There are several applications that can receive DTMF and make it available for processing or storing within the dial plan. The background application is similar to the playback application in that it plays an audio file to the channel. However, it simultaneously listens for DTMF input. Received DTMF digits will be interpreted as routing instructions from the caller. Asterisk will transfer the call to the extension in the current context that matches the DTMF that was input. Playback of the specified sound file is stopped when Asterisk receives a first DTMF digit. If no input is received by the time the playback ends, Asterisk will continue dial plan execution. Typically, the Wait Extend application follows the background application. Wait Extend silently listens for DTMF for the specified number of seconds, routing based on input in the same manner as background. Shown here is a simple example of what a dial plan using the background application to gather DTMF input might look like. This is an incomplete example, but it should demonstrate the basics. The call to background includes three audio files, separated by an ampersand, to indicate that they should be played in succession. When the files are done playing, the wait extend gives the user three more seconds to input DTMF. If the user presses one or two, they hear sound files repeating their choice to them. Note that in order for this to work, we had to define separate extensions in the same context where background is called. Background and Wait Extend are commonly used for IVR menus, but can be cumbersome when prompting a user for an account code or other non-routing digits. The Read application is a more general purpose tool to gather DTMF input. Instead of routing to an extension based on received DTMF, the input is stored into a dial plan variable. The variable can then be manipulated or compared against by other dial plan applications to achieve the desired behavior. Read has several configuration options, including playing a file similar to playback or background and specifying the maximum number of digits to record. In this example, we're accomplishing the same thing as in the background example from a moment ago. We prompt the user to press 1 or 2 and then play back to them their selection. However, the dial plan for this is more concise and we do it all in a single extension. Sometimes this is helpful. Look more closely at the call to read. The first parameter is the channel variable where the user's DTMF input will be stored. Here we named it user input, but it can be almost anything. You'll learn more about variables as you progress through this course. The next parameter looks just like the input to background in the previous example. This is where you can list the audio files you want to play to the user. The next parameter, 1, is the maximum number of digits we want to accept from the user. We have three commas in a row because we're skipping two parameters that aren't needed for this example. And then the last parameter is a 3 for the number of seconds we want to give the user to give us digits. As always, run Core Show Application Read to see what all the options are. When prompting for DTMF input, there are a few different timeouts worth considering, relating to how long to listen for the first digit and how long to listen between digits. We'll discuss these timeouts and how to configure them in another module. Let's move on now to another category of dial plan applications related to call routing.